We are staying on top of breaking news here as we get into the 8 o'clock hour of Good Day Orlando. Two police officers are in critical condition right now after suspects shot at them during a traffic stop. Those suspects are now on the run this morning. As you can see on the left of your screen, that is ORMC, where those officers are in critical condition. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see that there are multiple cars being towed away from a location on Garland Avenue. We're going to break all of that down for you and tell you what that means. We have Fox 35, Stephanie Buffmonte, also Fox 35's Matt Treza out there in the field bringing you live team coverage all morning long. So we do invite you to stay with us this morning. Our next hour of Good Day Orlando starts right now. Good Day Orlando starts now with breaking news. This is a sad day for our department. For the suspects out there, we will find you and you will be brought to justice. Thank you. And now on Good Day Orlando here at 8 o'clock, a manhunt is underway. Two suspects are on the loose, accused of shooting two Orlando police officers. Right now, we're looking at a live look from downtown Orlando. This is on Garland Avenue. You see police officers investigating the crime scene this morning. Uh, just a moment ago, we saw cars being towed away. They were being inspected again. This is an active investigation as officers and the entire police department look to find those suspects again. Uh, right now, you're looking at video. This is where the two officers officers were gunned down. Our Fox 35 crew has counted at least a dozen evidence markers on the ground there. Also, a wall of officers are lining the streets of downtown Orlando overnight investigating what started as a traffic stop and ended up as a multi-county search. And we, of course, are bringing you live team coverage all morning long. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte is live at ORMC where the two officers were rushed late last night. And Fox 35's Matt Treza is live in a Popka, where a massive search for those suspects is underway right now. Good morning to you, Central Florida. It certainly is good to see you, as always, on this Saturday morning, and we certainly appreciate you joining us. I'm Danielle Knox. Good morning, everyone. I'm Caroline Coles. We are on top of this breaking news all morning long. Those two police officers, they're in critical condition, fighting for their lives right now. Orlando Police Chief Eric Smith debriefing us on the shooting early this morning. We've laid out some details for you, so take a look at your screen and listen carefully. This is what we know so far. Around 11 p.m., officers stopped a car in the downtown Orlando area, and Inside that car, suspects linked to a Miami murder case. The chief saying those suspects shot two officers and then carjacked another driver. And this is now a statewide manhunt for those armed and dangerous people. We're going to start with Fox 35's Stephanie Buffamonte. She is joining us live from ORMC. Stephanie, good morning. Agencies from across Central Florida are helping in the case and sending thoughts and prayers this morning to those two officers fighting for their lives right now. That's right, a lot of prayers for those two officers right now who are here at ORMC in critical condition. We don't know where those two officers were shot, but we know that their injuries were serious. I want to take you back to the scene that has been active for the last nine hours. This all started at 11 o'clock last night, and detectives and police officers are still on the scene, squads lining the streets right now as they investigate, and detectives are collecting evidence. Orlando police say two officers stopped a car connected to a homicide investigation out of Miami. The suspect shot the officer, sending them to the hospital. Police say the suspect then stole another car, took off, leading police on a chase. The Orlando police chief, Eric Smith, had brief but strong words for the suspects who are on the run. Just before 11 p.m. tonight, officers were investigating a vehicle wanted for a homicide in Miami. During the stop, the suspect shot two of our officers. The suspect then carjacked another car and a vehicle pursuit ensued. We are right now actively looking for suspects. I want to thank the other agencies that are assisting us with this manhunt. We have two officers here at OMC who are in critical condition. This is a sad day for our department. For the suspects out there, we will find you and you will be brought to justice. Thank you. And you heard it right there from the chief. Multiple agencies have responded to this shooting to help Orlando police, and many are sharing their prayers for these two officers. The Orange County Sheriff's Office posting this on social media saying, quote, we are pulling for the injured officers and standing shoulder to shoulder with our OPD partners tonight, doing everything we can 
everything we can to bring these suspects to justice. Please join us in praying for the officer's recovery. Now, I will say, taking a live look back at the hospital, you can see this curtain around the emergency room. This isn't always up, but the hospital staff does put it around the emergency room when they do have high profile patients like the officers. And we will continue to be live throughout the morning. If we have any new information on how the officers are doing, we will bring it to you live. Reporting in Orlando, Stephanie Belfmonte, Fox 35 News.